a new type of file that we'll use in SharePoint in connection with BI semantic models that use tabular mode is a BISM file or BISM file. The BISM file serves almost the same purpose as an ODC file does by providing applications connection information to our semantic models. So an ODC file, is, if you're not familiar with that, is something that we can use in SharePoint to tell mainly Excel where to find cubes when browsing uh, multidimensional cubes. The BISM file is very similar and is used to point at primarily tabular data models. So our first step in using PowerView against our tabular model is to create a BISM file for it to use. What I'll do is go into my Lessons folder, and if you remember we created this document library called Lessons, and I'm going to add to it a BISM file that refers to a tabular model that is on a server. So you can actually use the same process for both Power Pivot for SharePoint and server-based tabular models. I'm going to use a server-based one, but I'll, I'll point both of the techniques out. So the first step, I'll click down on the new document and click on New BI Semantic Model Connection. I get this kind of a screen to fill out. This is very similar to filling out data sources and many kinds of Microsoft tools in SharePoint. So I'll give it a, a name. I'm going to call this one um, Aviation Statistics. I'll give this a more friendly description. And the part that you need to really pay attention to is the connection information. This is how this form can be used for both Power Pivot for SharePoint as well as server-based semantic models. So you notice this says workbook URL or server name. If I deployed my semantic model using Power Pivot for SharePoint, I would just fill this one field in to give it the URL to a Power Pivot for SharePoint workbook within SharePoint. And I'll just flip to this other screen and you can see there's this uh, workbook exists in another library called Power Pivot. And then I could just save the form and that would be enough. Since my model is in an analysis services database instance, I need to fill in the two fields. One is the server name, the other is the database. So I'll type in my server name and database name. So when I click the OK button, it will validate to make sure that it can connect to that database. And as long as it can, then that will be saved. So now I have the BISM file and I can see the icon here. There are a couple of things that I'll do with this. Um, one would be to launch Excel. So actually what I can do is launch Excel directly from this link so I don't have to communicate the server name and database to my users. I can just give them this link. Um, and you'll notice, this is interesting, that it will be presented to the desktop as an ODC file. Once Excel launches, I tell it that I'm aware of the security concern and I'm fine with it. And, and at this point I can browse that semantic model as a cube which is not really what the series is about, so I'll exit that. The other thing I can do is I can either drop down and select Create Power View Report, or if I just click on that, it will automatically launch into creating a new Power View Report. And then I can see that I have my data model over here with measures and dimensions and so on. So if I wanted to look at the flight count, I have 140 million flights in this database, and we'll be working with this uh, some more in some of the next lessons.